Hello, this is Chris from Palatech, and in this video we are going to learn how to target elements created with Elemental by ID and class using the site origin CSS plugin. To do that, we need to go over to the left where it says plugins. We are going to click on add new, and on the plugin search bar, we are going to type site origin CSS, and this is the plugin we are going to use. This will allow us to add CSS to our site. So we are going to click on install now, then on activate. And once that is done, we are going to the top name of the site and we are going to click on visit site. There we go. Now on the top, we are going to click on edit with Elementor. There we go. Now we are going to add for this example a couple of buttons to our site. We are going to click with the left mouse button and drag then on an open section and I'm going to duplicate this one right here. Now the thing is like this. So we are going to click on our button and here on the content tab we have an option. It's button ID. With this option we will give our button a unique ID that we will use to target on the CSS. It could be anything you want, if you just hit that. In this case, I'm going to type first button. There we go. Now, on a note, I want to mention that some elements we can use on the Elemental Page Builder will not have the option to add an ID. So, for that element, we are going to use the class. To know the class, we are going to use the web inspector. So we are going to hold the left control shift and press the C on the keyboard. There we are now. By clicking here, we can inspect and select the elements we have in our site. So we are going to go on the bottom, click, and as you can see, here on the style tab we have this right here is the class of the button as you can see we have the color of the background so what we are going to do is copy all of this by selecting it and then press left control and c on the keyboard to copy there we go and we are going to close the inspector and now we are going to save the changes of the buttons and now we are going back to the dashboard there we go now we are going to the bars and then click on exit to the dashboard there we go now we are going to the left appearance and now we have an option custom css we are going to click on that there we go now we have the space to add our code so to target an ID, what we need to do is press the add the hashtag to our CSS main uh, here, and then we are going to type the ID we gave to the button. In this case, it's first button. There we go. Now we are going to give it some space, and now we are going to open a key, then press enter. And now we are going to type our code. In this case, we are going to change the background color. Background color. And we are going to open a same uh, column. And here we are going to add the color of the background of the button. So we are going to press another hashtag. And now we are going to type the code, the exact code of the color we are going to use. In this case, I'm going to use a red, so press 5, and then two zeros and we are going to close with a semicolon then we are going to press enter we are going to add color and for the color we are going to use the same uh, hashtag and then 3f that's for white then we are going to press enter close with a semicolon and then we are going to close the keys now this code here will target the button we have given the ID and now we are going to give it 
some tweak to the one with the classes. So we are going to le hold left control and press the D minus on the keyboard and that will copy the class of the button. In this case, the difference is that classes start with a dot and the ID start with a hashtag. So we are going to press space, open a key, and we are going to do the same. We are going to add a background. In this case, we are going to go with a blue. So we are going to add two zeros and a five and close with a semicolon. And we are going to give it a font color of black. So we are going to press the hashtag and three zeros. And then we are going to place the key as well. Then we are going to save the CSS. So for a reminder, is hashtag is for the ID and dot is for the class. And on the CSS, the ID has a greater authority for that the class on the changes. So if we did changes on button that have the same class, the ID changes will override then over because they are of a greater authority. So we are going back to the top and then click on this side. And we can see that our buttons have two distinct colors, the one with the ID and the one with the class. So that's it. We have learned how to target elements created with Elementor using the ID and class using the site origin CSS plugin in a quick and easy manner. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and share with a friend who might have on the sites. See you the next time on Polytech.